Hey guys, I hope you're good. This is Max from MHS Pod, and today we will talk about the new Trap Code Suite 15 and the new Fluid FX Bam Explosion. No, Fluid. Okay, we will talk about how to make this really nice effect. And you can watch this video even if you have no experience with Trap Code Suite. What? Trap Cut Suite is it's one of the best effect suite for After Effects. You can check the Red Giant website. They are making really great effects for After Effects. Yes. And you have in the Trap Cut Suite a lot of incredible tools. Today we will see Trap Cut Particular and Trap Cut Forms, two particular systems. But you have Trap Code Mirror to create a landscape or abstract landscapes, Trap Code 3D Strokes to create stroke effects, Trap Code Shine to create shine effect, Trap Code Star Glow to create this nice glowing star effect, Trap Code Sun Key, really important if you are making uh, music or video clips. You can select uh, sound, some spect spectrums. I don't know, I'm French, so I can miss some words. And you can like put some effects only on the low kick or something like that. Really incredible if you are making um, video clips. Trap cut toe, uh, you can replicate and create really nice abstract shapes. I have a tutorial on the channel about this one. I don't remember if it's in French or in English, but really cool. It was used on a video I made uh, called Bro Safari um, Reality video clips with uh, more than 1 million views okay that's the story of my life uh, you can check uh, trap code lux um, to create volumetric effect volumetric light effects you can use the trap code echo space uh, cloner for your layers and trap code horizon to map your well, to create um, 360 degrees uh, background okay now it's over if you're new to the community i invite you to join our facebook group called motion designers community uh, you can share your renders share your renders and share your renders and talk with people improve your skills and meet people and we have a website i guess you can read the link under right there uh, we have tutorials contests amazing contests uh, from the community you can check incredible uh, motion graphics and 3d stuff mind blown the contests are every month so take a look a shop with products from people um, of the community and events join us and we are now in after effects with hd particular effects okay i've just created a solid and apply particular you can find particular in your effects or in your effects right now. I will click on designer and I will show you how you can create nice fluid effects in this new version. It's actually really easy because you just need to go in physics and go to physics model and you will find fluid. It will create a small bonding box like this and it will apply some nice effects. I will select a preset just to have a better emission. Um, if we can see, we have this emission with more particle and a better velocity. It will be easier for me to show you what's going on. Let's put fluid effects. As you see, I have my bonding box right there. I can control the position of my bonding box right there. I can control the size. It will change the effects. I can control the buoyancy, the swirl scale, and many things. As you see, buoyancy will create some kind of a boiling effect or fire effect. If I want something a bit more linear, I can leave it to zero or one it will create really nice and organic effects and it's rendering really fast i will be able to change the time right there and this parameter can be animated because um, you can play with the designer but all the strength of the parameters are here because you can animate with 
all these little things. Let's go back in the designer and let's set the physics time, the fluid time factor to 1.5. And here I have simulation fidelity. I can increase a bit the size. And you see, I'm creating really nice effects, and everything is uh, updating. I will add more particles, and it will create something a bit more organic. I love it. I can also change it for a sphere, for example, and it will change the effects. See, everything starting from this sphere. I can lower the emitter size, and you see, I'm just changing the global look of the effect. With this new designer, it's really easy to change and create really nice effect. And the thing I like is that we are in a 3D space and I can click play. You see it's rendering really, really fast. That's the really good thing about particles effects inside um, After Effects. And everything is in 3D, like I can create a new camera, hit C, and I can just navigate around my effect. See, it's really nice. Let's wait a bit for the calculation. So to create 3D motion graphics effect, it's really cool. And I can change the shape of all the particles. Oh, you see I have uh, small errors. It comes from the RAM preview. I can also apply fluid effect to trapod form. Trap platform is uh, another system of particles with uh, particles with an infinite lifetime. Fluid effects are just right there. And one thing that I didn't show you in particular is the possibility of clicking presets. And you have nice presets right there. You see? So you just need to click and the effect will happen. really nice so you have presets right there and you can start from this preset and modify uh, modify things like you can uh, change the force region scale i can lower the buoyancy i can have something with a bit less uh, speed i can increase the realism and that's nice. I love it. I can also add the kaleidoscope space. That's one thing I love in a uh, trapod form. I can create this really nice effect. And changing the, the color is also really simple in uh, this particle system. You can easily change color, easily change opacity, easily change, uh, I mean, size. It's, uh, it's really, really fun. Size of your life, it's nice. And you can have you see, it's really simple to do a nice motion graphic effect, and I can hit this button to see what's going on. And as soon as I'm happy with it, I can uh, go back uh, in uh, After Effects and just click at Apply. And I will see my effect happening. And everything is in 3D space, so I can create really nice motion graphics. You can also add motion blur, you can also add depth of field, and many, many things. That's really, really nice. You see, and everything is in 3D. So let's take a camera and let's move 